Let's go back to Westminster, where members of the public, of course, are queuing for the Queen's lying in state in the first full day that that's been happening. Let's join my colleague, Sean Lay. Who's there? Sean. Martine, thank you very much. I'm here with uh, Martin and Emma Lloyd, who have come down from Northampton, is that That's right? That's correct, yeah. We've come down about 10 o'clock this morning. That's right. When yeah. did you make the decision? Um, <laughs> Tuesday? And yeah, we decided, Tuesday. Didn't and we decided this morning that we would definitely come down. So yeah. we come down to Watford and then got the tube in. That's Brilliant. Right. And how's it been so far? Yeah, not too bad. Not, not too bad. About Better than hours. I thought. About six hours. So not too bad at all, to be yeah. honest. We've, we've been moving most of the time. So it's been a steady, steady walk. You picked one of the better days. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I dread to think what it'll be like at the weekend, but we've been very fortunate. I'm very. No I'm noticing your brooch, Emma. Um, it was my mother's, who's no longer with me, and um, my 10-year-old daughter asked me to wear it today because obviously she's at school, so I, that's why I've got so that So you're here for her as well? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I just think it builds up a lot of emotion, doesn't it, and things like this. So we had to come. I just felt compelled to come. Yeah, and we've got to go and put a card from Jessica up at Green Park. Yeah. when we finished here. So. And there's a, there's an opportunity for people to do that as a display yes, part. Yes. Hope so, yeah. yeah. Hope so, yeah. 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 So that's what's next, yes. Um, what is today, what is this whole business of marking the passing of the Queen and having this kind of public uh, mourning mean to you? I think it's, it's, it's only right that we should be here. It's the only monarch that I've ever known since I was born. She's a queen, obviously, and I'm a woman, so that's a great thing to know by. And we'll only have a king going forward, but I just feel like she's everybody's grandmother. It's really special to be here, and I feel very honoured to have the opportunity to come. Uh, Martin, uh, I think Emma may have dropped you in it there, because she said very pointedly, <laughs> She's the only monarch I remember. <laughs> yeah, well, she's the only monarch I know. Because oh, good, that's I, all right. I, 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 was, I, I was born in January 53, so six months before her coronation. So she's the only monarch I've known. And, uh, yeah, she's uh, a, very, a very special lady. And, well, you've been talking to people as you can. In fact, I wrenched you away from some people you got friendly with in the queue. Um, describe to me what people have been talking about. The weather? Where they come from? No, the, the, the question is, um, where have you come from? How yeah. far have you come from? You know, we've seen people from America, from Canada, Northern Ireland. You know, people have obviously gotten the queues very early mm. and very quickly. Um, and I think there's just been quite a nice atmosphere, really. Quite sombre, but still very caring. People are sharing stories and yes. their thoughts and feelings. Yeah, yeah they are. And uh, it, it's been... Um, I wouldn't say it's been uplifting, but it, it's been a, a pleasant experience. Yeah, not, you, not disappointed in coming at all. No. You know, I mean, obviously, you, you don't yet know what it'll be like inside. No. You're a bit kind of... I mean, I think, yeah, I'll be honest with you, if it was me, I'd be a bit nervous about yeah. what do I do, where do I stand, what do I look Absolutely. at? Absolutely. Yeah, that's right. Um, and you, you feel... I mean, there was a couple last night where I watched on the live feed, and I thought, God, they've been there a long time. So you don't want to sort of take up too much time when you're sort of saying your of final people. goodbye and that, you, you know, you, you've got to be conscious of other people who are coming up behind you. And is that what you feel you're doing? Yeah. Yeah, I'm saying goodbye, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I'll say a little prayer, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I just feel a little bit nervous. I think that as the closer we get, I think it's just natural, really, isn't it? I've never met her, so for me, it's it's even more special. And I was only a child when um, the Queen's mother died, and I was too young to come then. So this is, yeah, it's very special. I'm really pleased to be here. Martin. Fortunately, fortunately my wife and I did meet her. Oh, we, right. we Tell were, us about that. When they opened, she came to Northampton to open the new Guildhall. Uh, and I was a councillor at that time, and we had the opportunity to have dinner with her and and to uh, uh, meet her afterwards as well and that was that was special as well yeah so you have a very real personal memory yeah. Yeah. and a very real personal reason to come and say thank you yes absolutely yeah yeah martin lloyd emma lloyd thank you both very thank much you. Thank, you. thank you for your patience okay. and i hope we haven't kept Thanks. you too long no from the moment thank you have bye a good bye. journey back thank you just a flavor there martin i think every person here is a story every life is a story those who are sharing them not just sharing them with people who are here to tell the story and people like me who are kids professionally paid to be nosy but they're telling them to one another they're sharing those stories they're sharing those laughs they're sharing those memories and in that sense i think it is a really comforting experience for the people here in a way that perhaps for those at home it's not quite the same there is a way obviously through all the technology you can share it but i think those who've been here in this queue 
on these days, in this occasion, for many of them a once in a lifetime experience, will have a lot of memories to share when they get home. Absolutely, Sean. It's very much a communal experience, isn't it? People very much want to be part of this extraordinary uh, opportunity to pay their respects. I find it very moving to listen to those stories. Sean, we'll be back with you in a little while. Thank you very much.